You know, this afternoon I thought, finally, 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 here we are. You know, it appeared like it is a long, it will take, it will be that, almost the end of the year. But here it is. This is it. I don't know what your prayer has been. Mine has been that because this is the year of open heaven, that window that is still locked, I'm going to open it. I'm going to ask the Lord to give me the grace to open it on my knees and as I worship him. There are some of you that this year has been great. One person was giving a testimony how this year of open heaven they got the birth certificate, they got the passport and they flew out for the first time. Look at your neighbor tell them there is a first time for you too. God doing all those things, you know, yote. because God, God does not want mwakai by the certificate. Amen. Mwakai gine passport. Arafu mwakai gine di unaenda. No, it doesn't. You, actually, you can take all of them one week. Unazifanya zote kwa wiki moja. And then you travel out. Na utasafiri nje. So I'm so glad for this year myself. Actually, this is like the year. You remember the year the, 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 the theme was? You can ask the Lord anything. You can be extravagant. You can even ask for the moon. When I heard that, I thought, mm, what are they trying to tell me? But one day sitting in my house, I told Alice, let's ask. And you know, it's good to ask that which you know you cannot afford. If it is God. So that he can align you. So this, I asked the Lord, can I move from where I stay? And I knew I have to start walking towards where I want to go. And I was telling people this. Out of that sermon, I was so encouraged. I don't fear. I have courage. Amen. I have a lot of courage. Because I walked into somebody's house and I said I needed it. He was the one who was struggling to get me the bank to give me money. And for eight months I stayed there without paying water or electricity. They, you, you see, if it is the Lord, as you prepare, as you look for money and so on. So from that point on, when God tells me to dare something, I do it. And I pray that we can have more of you that will dare God. Because when we dare him, he, he is God by himself. I'm saying this so that I can also tell you this. If you are not careful because of asking and receiving a lot of the materials that are here we might forget what God has called us to do. We might forget what God is telling us we are. We might forget we are just the bride. That is it. We are just the bride. He is the bride bridegroom. And you remember what I told you a few years, a few months ago. Although I never preached, I told you. One of the biggest mistakes that pastors are having today is that they have forgotten their role. And instead of becoming the master of ceremony for the bride, for the bridegroom, so that they can allow the bride to meet the bridegroom, they have stood in between the bridegroom and the bride. And they have pumped the bride. They have beautified the bride. But the bride is not theirs. I hope you are getting where I am coming from. That you and I are the bride of Christ. And we are the bride of Christ awaiting his coming. But sometimes as we await, we pastor pamper you up. 
tunaku yeah tuna hey, tunakupampa tunakupamba hey, tunakurembesha tuna, hapa tuna na pale tunakuambia gari ya kwenda nayo amen na viatu ya kuvaa mm lakini hatujui kuna siku hiyo viatu na hizo magari hautaenda nazo yani utatoka tu unaona huyu kijana vile alivyo parapanda ikilia hizi zote zitaanguka all this will fall when the trumpet rings <laughs> Are you, are you getting the joke that the trumpet takes we don't need this do we need this hatuhitaji hii oh okay but just for a little while then we will open the conference and then we will chache tu tutafungua kongamano Matthew 25 the bible says this then the kingdom of heaven shall be like to ten virgins who took their lambs and went out to meet the bridegroom now five of them were wise and five were foolish Those who were foolish took their lambs and took no oil with them but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lambs but while the bridegroom was delayed they all slumbered and slept and at midnight a cry was heard behold the bridegroom is coming go out to meet him then all those virgin virgins arose and trimmed their lambs and the foolish said to the wise give us some of your oil for our lambs are going out but the wise answered saying no lest there should not be enough for us and you but go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves and while they went to buy the bridegroom came and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding and the door was shut afterward the other virgins came and said lord lord open to us but he answered and said assuredly i say unto you i do not know you watch therefore for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the son of man is coming our heavenly father pray that you would speak to us this day and cause us to enjoy you this week knowing where we are and what you have called us to be and that we can worship you and your father leave the bride to worship you and help the bride to worship you and help the bride to have fellowship with you lord god almighty this week may we just rejoice in your presence and enjoy having fellowship with you the bridegroom we honor you and we give you thanks for this we ask in jesus name now when the lord gave me this this sharing a couple of months ago it is because i you know the lord laid it in my heart and then I saw what happens. In this country because you are a Kenyan. We don't value the bridegroom. We don't celebrate him at all. We don't even notice him. But Pastor Jim is standing here. He says when the bride hit the frame of the door. Would we all arise? Okay forget about forget I said or arise. The guy who who is coming to marry walks in with these guys. They come and wait here. Of course nowadays siku hizi when uh, my brother was getting married. You married at a good time. Alio wakati poa sana. He married at a good time. Si jamaa alikuwa wakati mzuri. Anyway, a good time. I'll tell you about what happened. These guys were dancing. When I was getting married, I went to the front with no music. And I sat. And it looked so long for Alice to get where I was. Actually, I have a photo. Which was taken and I was having some business or chewing my my lips. And somebody was asking what were you doing? I don't know. Maybe I was wondering what is going on because for them they were coming nemere You know they go to and they you know it's like walikuwa wanakuja tu mosmos. Kebera unakumbuka Esther Akija. You know? Yeah. Kidogo kidogo tu. Kidogo kidogo tu. And here I am. I have gone there a long time and everybody is standing not for me but for her. 
So we stand for the earthly pride. But we forget that we ought to always be standing up for the bridegroom. Because all of us, men and women, we are the bride of Christ. Let us not forget he receives all the glory. He receives all the honor. I know sometimes you clap for us. You never knew why I asked you to worship the Lord a little more. Because I knew when you're going to clap for him, I will appear like the chief of the estate. Because that's the way it should be. We honor him more. We praise him. We exalt him. We acknowledge him. We adore him. We pray him. So the story, this is a parable given about the kingdom of heaven. And it is of five wise and five foolish. But because the virgins are representing the church, I will not call some wise and some foolish but I will say some prepared and some not. You are either prepared or not. Because the Lord will take some time before he comes. And as he, we wait if you have no reservoir for your oil the energy to keep on trusting the Lord when he is just about to appear, some of us will have no oil to wait for him. You are hearing what I am saying. So in that passage, I find three things. Number one, it is about the kingdom and the bridegroom. Number two, it is between the first and the second coming of Christ. Number three, the virgin represents the church, the visible church of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. John the Baptist had a wonderful saying. He says this in Matthew in, in John 3. Verse number 28. You yourself bear me witness. That I say I am not the Christ But I have been sent before him He who has the bride is the bridegroom But the friend of the bridegroom Who stands and hears him Rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice Therefore this joy of mine is fulfilled He must increase As I decrease Now if you want to get the perspective of that scripture there were some religious people like they looked at John and said since Jesus came into the scene your church is not doing well since Jesus came into the scene you don't have members but it appears like Jesus is having more to baptize it appears you are going to close your shop you are not doing any business you are not doing so well but John was so vibrant he affirmed and said I have no worries no worries hakuna matata Amen. Hakuna matata. Hana matata. Tell your neighbor hakuna matata. Hakuna matata. No worries. Hakuna matata. John is saying no worries. Hakuna matata. Why I have told you from the beginning. I am not the Christ. Mimi sio Christo. I am not the bridegroom. Mimi sio bwana harusi. I am just a friend of the bridegroom. Mimi ni rafiki tu wa bwana harusi. The guy who has the bride. Wala mbaya kwa na harusi. He is the bridegroom. Yeye anangojea bwana harusi. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. So we are saying he who has the bride. Wala mbaya kwa na bi harusi. It is Christ. Not the pastor, not the bishop, but it is Christ. So John says, but I will be rejoicing. Now that is the part of the pastors. We rejoice when our members are connecting with the bridegroom. Oh, when the bridegroom is having fun with the members. When Christ is walking with the members. The joy of any minister is when there is a connection between the bridegroom and the bride. 
Of course there are some pastors in this country not 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 in other countries but in this country. Kuna wachungaji wengine hapa kwenye hii nchi yetu ya Kenya. Who have taken the bride. Wamechukua bi harusi. One of them even said this. I don't preach salvation. Mimi si siubiri wokovu. I want these guys to get wealthy. Nataka watu wakuwe tajiri. But you see Salvation is the key for us to be connected with the bride. So John is right. He is just a friend of the bride. And he's so happy with the bridegroom. He's so enjoying the bridegroom. He's so happy with what is happening. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He's just a friend of the bride. Hallelujah. Amen. And then Jesus is questioned about fasting. Yes, so anauliza swali kuhusu In Matthew 9 and 17. Matthew 9:14 to 6 to, to 16. 14 hadi 16. Let me do up to 15. Acha nifanye paka 15. Then the disciples of Jen came, came to him saying, "Why do we and the Pharisees fast often, but your disciples do not fast?" And Jesus said to them, "Can the friends of the bridegroom mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them?" But the day will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them and then they will fast. Now Jesus is the one who is saying, yes, as long as I am around, yes, I am the bridegroom. People cannot mourn, they walk in provision. Oh, hear me. As long as we have the bridegroom with us, we will not lack in any way because he will provide for us. He will release the blessing that we need. Oh, may we allow the bridegroom to be with us. Oh, may we allow the bridegroom to be with us because as long as he is with us. Oh my goodness. You know, me have never gone to Israel. I went for the first time. You know when you go for the first time it's like when you go to high school for the first time. When you go home you want everybody to know you are in high school. But after the first time you you, you remember you, you, then you discover you're not the only one actually there are many others. You actually inform one the others inform four. So for us who went to Israel for the first time we will keep on telling you what we saw. Until until another group goes until we, we get promoted but as long as wengi wenu hamjaenda kwa sababu nyinyi hamjaenda wengine bado sisi tuko mbele yako we will continue telling you the story when we landed in cana of galilee walipofika pale cana ya galileo amen woo hey wow yes i can see some of the people who went with me shaking their heads When we landed in Cana of Galilee. Yes. Were we not seeking to know what happens in Cana? And thank God I was with the team. I kept on preaching to them. Oh, it was so sweet to get to Cana of Galilee. And in Cana of Galilee, the people there, they sell wine. Wanauza mvinyo. That's their business. Some of it they call it church wine. Another one they call ile Yesu alikunywa. The one that Jesus. Wanaita ile Yesu alikunywa. But let me tell you the joke. Then they can vouch this. Wacha niwambie hii. The guy who was selling to us he was telling us. He imeiva. This one has stayed for 15 15 years. Hii nayo imekaa miaka 20 imeiva iva. This one has stayed for 20 years it's ripe. Are you hearing? So when I was speaking to the team I told them The point that Jesus had was not for wine So that we don't go to Israel to drink and we come back drunk The point that Jesus had was every time there is lack When you have nothing Call him He has a way of filling it the empty pot with water and then turning it into wine or turning it to your provision or turning it to your miracle allow him to be there I was told by somebody bishop umbereka umbereka watu hapo kana watatoka wakiwa walevi hawakutoka wakiwa walevi amen si unasikia amen ya jesus shiko wa jesus <laughs> the point is 
in Cana of Galilee, the, where the first miracle took place, it was to provide for that which they were lacking. And I pray for anyone listening to me, may the Lord turn your situation to a Cana of something. May the Lord provide something for you. May he use that which is empty, which you provide to him. I don't believe the wine that came out was 20 years old. I don't. It was fresh juice. better than any other. Maybe you can say, you are right. You can say because Bishop doesn't drink. <laughs> but the truth is, they lacked what? What they were lacking was wine for them. What, do, what am I lacking? May the bridegroom be there. May the Lord come near me. May I show him what I have. May I tell him what I need. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So Jesus is telling, telling them. When the bridegroom is with you. Oh, it, it sounds great. When Jesus is with me. It sounds great. Oh, let's allow Jesus to walk with us. Especially in this country of ours. Let the Lord walk with us. Allow him to walk with you. Allow him to walk with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, the secret is this. What Jesus tells you to do, do it. That's what Mary tells the, 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 the servants. And I will say the same. What Jesus tells you to do, please do it. Because when you do it, there will be a difference between you who is doing it and those that are waiting for it to happen to them. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. So, Jesus is telling us yes, that you know what? As long as the bride is with us, we will walk in the provision that he has for us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want to finish by saying this, reading some other scripture. It says this, and I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude. This is Revelation 19. The voice of a great multitude as the sound of many waters and as the sound of mighty thundering saying, Hallelujah! For the Lord God omnipotent om, om reigns. Let us be glad and rejoice. Give him glory. For the marriage of the Lamb has come. And his wife has made him herself ready. And to her it was granted to be arrayed in fine linen. Clean and bright. For the fine linen is the righteousness act of the saints. I told you when you read the book of Matthew, what comes to us is that the Lord came once and he has gotten us. But he is coming. He is coming. He is coming. Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back. Now tell your neighbor Jesus is coming back. They, they, are, they are not believing you. Just tell them. Tell them, tell them Jesus is coming back. Now tell them whether they like it or not is coming back. Jesus is coming back. But who is he coming for? He's coming for those that have no wrinkle, no spot, who have cleansed themselves. Just like a bride, a bride cleanses and purifies herself for her bridegroom. Just like the bride prepares and adorns her for her bridegroom. The church ought to adorn itself with righteousness because the Lord is coming Back again. He's coming for you. He's coming for me. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He's coming for you. But as he waits his coming. Now that is where the rubber touches the road. You're going to eat Githeri. You're going to live in Githurai. You're going to get the Zuri Matatus. You're going to have some tear gas when you go through the university and they have riot. You're going to have increase of fuel. 
mafuta ya magari yataongezeka the unga will go up unga jogo unga utaongezeka it will go up utaongezeka bei sickness and disease will ramp it us we will go to hospital and they will take all our money magonjwa na maradhi atatuandama tena tuna we wait for his coming tunapongojea kuja kwake but blessed is the person who awaits him ule ambaye anamngojea yeye one more valley one more hill just around the corner and the lord jesus is going to show himself up amen blessed is the person who keeps his heart pure for the coming of the lord jesus christ because jesus is coming anakuja jesus is coming yesu yuaja jesus is coming yesu yuaja jesus is coming yesu yuaja and when he comes you will not ask you where you live hata kuulizwa naishi wapi what you eat unakula nini He wants your heart. Anataka moyo wako. Have you ever noted that when a person is dying? Unashaitambua kwamba mtu anapokufa, anybody who is dying and is rich. Yule ambaye anataka katika hali ya kufa na ni tajiri. Oh, thank God. Shukuru Mungu. You don't know because they die when you are there, not there. You only read it in the papers. Unasoma tu katika gazeti. If you ask someone who is dying. Ukiuliza mtu ambaye anafariki, to give you a message akupatia ujumbe one message ujumbe mmoja he will not talk about his money hautaongea kuhusu pesa he will talk about his wife and children ataongea kuhusu hata wale wanachapanaga wale wanachapanaga even those who fight na anakuchapaga wanakuchapa akienda kufa atakwambia ni dagu tigira shia naishi na anakuwa akikuchapa tu na hata hakuitagi mama watoto lakini akija kudai who kick the bucket atakwambia mama watoto kitu kimoja na kuomba tafadhali lea watoto wetu please take care of our children na amekuwa akikwambia unaiba pesa zake and he has been accusing you of theft anakuwa akikwambia kuna senti zake anaona haziko he has been lakini akija kukufa anakwambia mama but a point of dying he said linda watoto wetu take care of our children naye mama hata kama alikuwa akikuchapa kofi and then if the mother was even beating you akija kufa kwanza anakwambiaga hivi na usiowe mapema at her dying point she'll tell you this tulia kidogo watoto wasome some don't marry so quickly Wait the concern fast. ni watoto the concern so i i may god help me to put a concern that i would rather think about where i'm going because as long as they are in jesus's hands how a toto wa unda salama and i can say it is well i can declare it is well blessed be the name of the lord hallelujah let's give the lord all the praise let's allow the lord to receive all the praise in our midst when god has done anything give him honor don't forget about him don't brag and pride yourself it is because of his grace we give him all the praise and all the glory hallelujah Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want you to stand up. I know some of you came very early. And some of you have been traveling. We want to bring a, a, I want to bring my preaching to an end. But we will be taking an offering because we came. Hallelujah. Amen. Please help me again to, to for the bride to receive all the glory. Wacha bwana harusi apokee utukufu. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Achukue utukufu. Amen. Achukue utukufu. Eh, tuone kama all right. Eh, bless the name of the Lord.